Let's do the most impossible thing ever! Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Rusta Goth. How are ya? Welcome! <laughs> so in today's video, as the title says, we are thrifting a new thrifting challenge! I cannot contain my excitement for this challenge. <sighs> Is it a difficult challenge? Of course. Is it impossible? No. I will always say before I go into a thrift store, what's meant for me will be there. <laughs> and it somehow seems to always work out. I'm going to be doing a two-day thrift for the weekend. We're going to be going to a few different thrift stores and seeing what they have. We're going to be shopping for the hubby and we're going to be shopping for me. Let's get into the inspiration for what we're looking for. Are you ready? I'm ready. The theme of this challenge will be thrifting for a vampire ball because surprise I'm going to another vampire ball so, so the, the theme, theme for, for the evening, evening were it, it was, was kind of loose about what they posted, posted but I'll, I'll post the pictures of what they have here um I'll be taking that and running with it <laughs> we're gonna be going for the theme of interview with a vampire at least for the hub's sake because I feel like that's the one of the more recent examples of what, you know, that period looks like, especially with what the pictures showed from the vampire court. Um, for me, on the other hand, I haven't picked yet. <laughs> I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I'll figure it out as we go. Here are the inspiration boards that I saw on, like, Pinterest for the hubby's outfit, however. I'll have that scrolling up here. Um, here are some ideas of what I'm kind of going for when I'm looking for shirts or like pants or just loose flowy shirts that will like tuck in one side in the pants and the pants might be cropped or a little shorter than they would be normally capris if you will <laughs> so we'll see what we find out in the thrift store world we're gonna try to go to different places besides just goodwill and hopefully we can fulfill this challenge and i don't know how many challenge episodes we're gonna do for this particular challenge but until we get a full outfit or at least what seems to be close to a full outfit then we will have succeeded in the challenge oh, i can't wait to see you at the end stay tuned because there will be a haul for whatever we find hi so it's only like 5 30 and it's pitch black outside <laughs> Love that. I'm at my trusty Goodwill. The Goodwill that I found that amazing like Halloween jacket. So we're gonna go in here. We're gonna look for stuff. I don't think I showed you guys my nails either. I might have a little clip over here. The hubby designed these. So I feel like I have to do him right and get something good. Let's go inside.
there you have it folks one of the most perfect finds ever hi everybody welcome to a new day this is a big thrift store so we're probably gonna be here for a while so get your snacks get ready be prepared because <laughs> i'm not i'm a little overwhelmed but i love it i love finding the stuff that's in here so yeah let's go Okay guys, so we're back home finally after a long day of thrifting yet again and it's time for a haul because there's bags upon bags of things that I found and today specifically, I, I feel like I hit the jackpot again. I don't know. You know, I'm happy to be blessed by the gods of thrift. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna get into the thing that I'm wearing because quite obviously I couldn't resist not wearing it the next day. And I even found something even more remarkable about this piece because I didn't know that it didn't have clasp. I thought it was just like an open cardigan. But to my surprise, there's clasp and look at it. Look at it fully like closed all the way. This piece I think will be in my top five favorite pieces ever that I've ever thrifted. Um, yeah, wow. I, there's nothing else that I could say about this. Like the sleeves, like it even does this. Um, yeah, we're going to start off with my husband's things because we found him some good pieces. Let's get started. So the first thing we got is this flannel, just this flannel because look at it. It's so vibrant. It's thick and it's a, it's a flannel. <laughs> um, he's really into flannels right now. And so I, I like to fill any kind of desire Oh, you like that? Okay, great. Prepare for 10 more of that same thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just a flannel. This was $5.99. Can never have too many flannels. Next up, we have this little rose shirt. I think it's so cute. It's um, kind of navy with red dots on it. And that is me trying it on. This shirt was $8.99, which is meh. But I mean, it's basically a new shirt. We found some pieces for the actual vampire ball. Are you guys ready? I was surprised what, at what I could find at the thrift store. I didn't, honestly, when I started this challenge, I was like, I must like pain because I, I don't know why I picked these challenges where I'm like, let's do the most impossible thing ever. <laughs> um, just, I'm just happy I didn't decide to budget myself on this because I feel like I would have a terrible time. It wouldn't be as fun. This was a steal. First of all, it was only 4 dollars 
And, okay, do you see it? Do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> the arm, we'll have, we'll have them tried on here, but like the, the stitching, the stitch pattern, the fabric ruffle, it's perfect. Apparently it's a tuxedo shirt. I don't know anything about that, but we're going to see. We're going to see how this all comes together. And if I can't thrift some of the pieces that I need to make it a full outfit, I'll be buying some. So, you know, this challenge is a little more lax. There's just so many components that you just don't know if you're going to find. So, but that's why I'm giving myself like two months to try to find things. So hopefully, hopefully we find stuff. So we found some trousers. They're like this weird, like, texture... I'm not really sure what the texture is, what that fabric is, because whoever had it ripped off the pants tag, I guess I'll never know. For $8.99 though, these might work. These might, might work. And last but not least, for the hubby, we got some shoes. These bad boys. Um, They're from H&M. Which, first of all, I didn't know H&M sold shoes that look like this. Like, straight out of the 1800s, newsboy-esque. Um, these were $12.99. And I'm, I am I know that H&M doesn't sell these for $12.99. So, a steal. And it looks like they were barely ever used. So, probably, like, somebody's graduation or something. And that was it. That wraps it up for the hubby stuff. And the rest of the things are for me. Because, you know. <laughs> We've talked about this. I might consider this for when I'm thinking about what I'm wearing for the ball. If anything, if it's cold, it can be some sort of cover. Our next item that we got is this fluffy scarf. Look how red that is. So rich and beautiful. And it's so soft. I love this thing. And again, whomever had it before ripped off the tag, so I can never find another one. I feel like I could wear a beret with this. It's some kind of fringe. Ugh. I'm just really into like fringe fashion <laughs> right now and I've seen a lot of this like thin scarves and so you know if I love it I have to get it in another color introducing the second one <laughs> but this one's in white it's like a cream color and it feels so soft like I can't stop touching both of them Ooh, it's so soft it's like a teddy bear okay next well you know I have to get these look at them I basically just bought shoes that look like this and wow and i honestly they they feel pretty new the only like flaw is like on the inside which doesn't matter because i mean look at them Ugh. i've already tried these on and you'll see them here um i just it, ugh, they're amazing i love them so much and they were 20 dollars. they were a little higher than I would have liked to find. Like, I feel like I could have found these for actually $20 somewhere. So at the same store, I found these amazing shoes. Now I like to dress up for the Ren Fair a lot. And so I feel like these will be perfect with some, some outfit I decide to come up with this next year. But look at these. They're perfect for like Ren Fair attire or really just any attire. Um, it's giving, Asterion from Baldur's Gate. If you don't know who I'm talking about, here's the picture. <laughs> but yes, I love these so much. And these babies were $12.99. Last but not least, in the shoe department, we've got these wonderful babies. They are so soft. And they're, they are exact. Like, I, if my toe was any longer, it'd be a no. Because these are a 9, and I usually wear a 10. But... I sometimes can squeeze into a nine and this was one of those times luckily I'm not really sure how much these were I think they were like $12 so in our clothing department we found some amazing pieces um, again nothing really besides this that could be used for the vampire ball but we did find some stuff so we have this little nighty um, it doesn't quite fit me all the way um but that's okay because i can just leave it open and use it as like a robe or anything um and this bad boy was only five dollars for 49 so but i really love the design on it it's so pretty and it's giving japanese tea garden next up in the intimates department we have this like little 
another little robe situation. It's see-through though, so you know, can't really wear it too far out of the bedroom. And this bed boy was only $9. And I'm not sure on the brand because it looks like they've taken it out. But that's okay. It's super soft. It's kind of short, but I like it. It's something to probably sleep in maybe or just relax on a Sunday morning. So for our next top, we have this little jacket. Do you see that pattern? It's amazing. Here's it on. I love it so much. I've never seen anything patterned like this as just a regular schmegular piece. I I love the pockets. I just, I love it. And honestly, I'm probably going to be wearing it to work out in or just run errands in. I don't know. We'll see how I feel when it comes to wearing it. Um, but I do know the brand and the brand is Style Co. Woman and it was a $7 piece and it has gold accents which I'm starting to really fall in love with gold again. Next up I have another piece that it's going to be either a buildable piece or I just wear it on its own type of situation and it is this velvet leopard print tank top. Super cute. There's the print texture. Um, I'm definitely interested in seeing how I'm going to style it personally, but I want to do something that's not quite obvious. So we shall see what I come up with. This was a $6 buy and I'm so happy to have it in my inventory. And last but not least for our last clothing item, we have this cute dress from Old Navy, a steal already. I love Old Navy's clothing. It has new tags on it and everything still. Um, but I snagged this deal for only $10. And it's a t-shirt dress. I'll have it here so you can see the full thing. But yeah, um, it is a little snug. I'm not going to lie. So this is probably going to be like paired with leggings or something. I have an item that I didn't think that I would be finding. <laughs> you saw it in the clip. It was day one. We found... A candy corn in pretty much new condition and this is from at home from $12.99 that's at home price like wow this was I don't know I don't know if this was this year or not um, but I snagged it for only $4.79 <laughs> I'll have it out year-round because clearly right but look at that the white's still white the orange and yellow is still clear and it's so <laughs> it's so like squishy i love it that wraps up the first part of this video we found a lot of good stuff for my hubs to maybe possibly make an outfit with for the vampire ball that's coming up and we still need to be on the hunt for my items because i don't know i feel like this top right here might be a contender for part of the outfit and i'm excited to see what else these thrift stores have and i'm definitely going to be challenging myself to go out of my way to not go to goodwill so we're going to try different places and see what we can find out there without it being from goodwill i'm so excited to film the next part of this video and see where else our journey leads us to if you like this video please give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below what was your favorite piece are you excited for this challenge what are you hoping that we find um if, if there's anything that you can think of any kind of reference you want me to look at please let me know i love just uh, i love this whole idea it's just such a great time i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye